Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am gonna show you the overview for Xenon HD ROM for Nexus 5. Now this ROM is based on CM12. Now Xenon HD ROM is known for its smoothness and fastness. So let's check it out. Firstly I am gonna show you the Android version provided by this ROM. Now this ROM provides Android version 5.0.2. I am running the latest build of ROM that is version 5.1 which released on 27th of Jan 2015. I am also running the stock kernel that come along with this ROM. Now let's check out the customization. The customization menu can be seen in the tab called personalization. As you can see, the first option is status bar. Here you can enable the brightness control over status bar. Then you can enable the quick pull down of quick setting from right edge of the status bar then you can enable the count for a notification then you can enable weather in your status bar header as you can see I have enabled it so you will see weather in my status bar header then next is network traffic here you can enable the network monitor over status bar then you can change the color for the monitor you can change the display unit for it then you can change the update interval and you can also auto hide the monitor if the network is inactive then next is clock and date here you can change the color for clock you can change the alignment it is center or right you can enable the AMPM indicator then you can enable a date and you can also choose different date format from this option then next is battery style here you can change the battery status style that is to icon portrait icon landscape circle text or hidden then you can also enable the battery percentage that is inside the icon, next to icon or keep it done. Then the next option is miscellaneous. Here you can customize your notification drawer. The first option is click setting. Here you can change the order of tile. Just hold the tile you want to move and drag it to the required position. You can also add tiles to the quick toggle by this menu. Then next is enlarge first row. You can enlarge your first row in a quick toggle menu or make it disable. Then enable advanced location setting. You can enable the advanced location setting in a quick toggle. Means when you touch on your location setting on quick toggle, it will show the advanced menu. Then next is show brightness slider. You can enable or disable the brightness slider in the drawer. Then next is background touch. It will give you the haptic feedback when you touch on any tiles. The next customization is recent panel setting. Here you can enable the clear all button in the recent menu. You can also choose a different position for the button that is top right, top left, top center, bottom right, bottom left, bottom center. And you can also enable this button to clear all tasks that is foreground task and background task also. Then next is navigation bar. Here you can customize the position of the navigation bar that is you can move the buttons to the up or down. And you can also add the extra button in navigation bar and you can as assign a specific function for that button. Then next is you can change the dimension of the navigation bar that is height and width of the navigation bar. Then next is animations. Here you can change the toast animation of the system. And you can also vary all system animations through this setting. Then next is heads up notification. Here you can check out the different timeout for the notification as you can see. And you can also add any app to the DND mode on and in a blacklist mode. So it's a good option to have. Then next is expanded desktop. Here you can enable any app in a full screen mode. Just click on that app and click on hide both. You can also hide only status bar or only nav bar as you want. Then next is screen recorder. Here you can enable a screen recorder button in a power menu. You can also choose different video size and different bit rate for a video. Now let's go to display setting. Here you can enable the 
double tap to sleep feature on status bar you can calibrate your color you can also enable the ambient display and you can choose different timeout for your ambient display then next is buttons here you can customize your power menu means you can choose different toggle from this menu then you can enable your power button as an end call button then you can enable your volume button as a wake up device button and you can use a volume button as a playback control for your music then next is privacy instead that there is a privacy guard where you can block any specific app for accessing your data and connection and instead a blacklist you can block any number or unwanted sms or call now as you observe this rom is based on cm12 but it does not have a theme engine because this rom has included different theme engine called rro in this rom the theme engine is replaced by rro now you can check out my video about the rro overlays that is how to apply them and how to install the overlays i will post link in my description also so you can check it out now talking about battery life battery life of this rom is okay i am getting around 10 to 12 hours of battery life with 3 hours of screen on time so it's stable the this rom is pretty good in terms of smoothness and fastness and in terms of customization it's great so i will recommend to check out this rom once thank you for watching my video subscribe to my youtube channel for more video and follow me on google plus facebook and my blog thank you